Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Melania's Arsenal. Uh, let's get started. So, in this episode, I am trying out fist weapons for the first time against her. We're going to start with, start with the Veteran's Prosthesis, which, looking at it, it might not be the best choice, just because it, it can't even be infused or anything. But it does have lightning damage, and it has decent physical overall. Uh, for reference, in terms of power, this has about the same as a 99 dex uh, Arumi does in damage. Especially if you count the Ritual Sword Talisman. Uh, it has uh, two more damage than it with the Ritual Sword Talisman. The difference being, this has split damage. Uh, a couple things. Let's see. First of all, doesn't this weapon just look great with the Banished Knight armor? Holy cow. It fits like perfectly with it. Uh... I did a little bit of a test run against Melania with this, because I was worried about fist weapons being terrible against her. Uh, to note, the R1s, I really don't like using weapons that don't stagger her at all. So the R1s don't really work. However, R2s charge really fast, so that'll be our main method of damage. Uh, let's go ahead and read the uh, description. Bladed prosthetic leg, and wreathed with the power of lightning, instead attached to the fist. That's so weird. Uh, Commander Nile, veteran of Castle Soul, offered this prosthesis in exchange for the lives of the defeated knights held prisoner. He went on to lead those men as an army of no nation. So he is the leader of the Banished Knights. But, you know, it, it makes sense that uh, it would match the Banished Knight armor, huh? Okay. Uh, in that little, bleh, in that little bit of a trial run that I attempted, I learned some things. Uh, and I'll see if I can show them off. Mainly a few times for when to do R2s that I hadn't really considered before. So, an uncharged R2 will stagger her, but after attacks like this, you can do a charged R2 and an uncharged R2. Here you can do a charged R2. That was one of the ones I really wanted to show off, was, uh, punishing things like that, where... Typically, what's expected is she'll go for the triple slash follow-up. So, like, right here again. And it doesn't hurt you to try, because at worst, she's out of range of you. Whoa, positioning. I don't know how I ended up on that side of her. Uh, Charizard 2's getting a lot of stagger damage, by the way. Uh, that was going to be the next thing I pointed out. Uh... To the point where, as you can see, we staggered her faster than with, like, any other weapon we've used so far. One, two. That kick was actually not safe to follow up on if she decided to do the... If she had decided to do the flip instead, she would have hit me with it. Just full force. Just due to my, uh... Timing. If I had timed it earlier, it would have been fine. There we go. Good. And then we'll heal. As you can see, this weapon's actually doing fine against her. And I hadn't thought that far ahead, now that I think about it. Uh, because if this weapon kills her fast enough, I need to find at least a little bit something else to do, right? <laughs> Alright, I mistimed my R2 there. Oh! Get off me. <laughs> I should be dead. Holy cow. One, two... That's not one of the ones where you need to charge an R2 after, honestly. On this, if she follows up not with the flip, but with the fading slash, then you can follow up with an R2, because it's a safe spot where she'll either do that, or she'll do another combo. Triple hit combo. And then backstab. That's another thing. The R2 is so fast on this that I can even get a, a put, uh, an extra hit in before the backstab, which is insanely fast. Like right there, that fading slash I could have tried. Uh, 
And the actual damage on R2s is really good, honestly. It is significant, to say the least. Oops, I don't know why I walked forward there. It caused me to take more hits. <laughs> Oh, thank you, tracking. I'm using a lot more Estus. Normal flasks. Flasks of Crimson Tears. <laughs> Etc. Whatever you want to call them. With this weapon. But I'm also taking a few more risks than I normally would. Trying attacking during new attacks and stuff. Oh, that clipped me, huh? Uh, another thing to note, because this weapon has lightning damage, it really is just good to stand in the lightning. Oh, come on, lady. I want you to go to phase two. She's specifically fighting going into phase two, huh? There we go, except this is going to lock her into not dying. We're just going to mash R1 because her protection lasts about until her next attack. So, doing it like that, where you just mash, as long as she doesn't fall back, you're guaranteed to move her into phase 2 with a fast weapon. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> if you saw there, uh, the second R2 doesn't outpace uh, the kick. Okay, could you, like, sit still? <laughs> You know, lock-on makes this phase a little annoying looking, but beyond that... Okay, so I can only do like one or two at a time. Yeah, because if she decides to kick, I can't react. Uh, roll. Unless it's on the first one, okay. <laughs> okay. We are going to heal here, but it might not be a super smart idea. Sometimes that triggers attacks that I don't particularly like. Or not. Perfect. We're just going to power up. This is why I run Barricade Shield, by the way, because if I'm expending stamina and not paying super close attention, and then it punishes me uh, if I don't have barricade shield. Poke. Ah, uh, should not have gone for that second R2. Okay, this is good. We're gonna heal. Just stay topped off. At this rate, it seems like I should win, I think. I think I will. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Oh, what the? <laughs> that was weird. I'm just gonna do one. I think one big thing about this fight is just knowing what attacks are fast enough to interrupt, honestly. Because if you're fast enough to interrupt them, it's just a free punish on her. Whoa. And now I'm in a really bad spot. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. She's probably going to do attack the clones here. No? Alright, thank you.
If you're curious why I've only gotten one posture break on her. Uh, mainly just because uh, she kind of decides if she doesn't want to be posture broken whenever she wants. Oh, let's just go ahead and barricade shield then. All right. Phase two is showing to be a little bit harder than phase one. Oh, I just didn't roll. Dang. This is just, just free healing for her if she gets kicks off on me. I mean, we're right back to where we were when she did the first one of those. Actually, she has more health than when she did the first one of those. That's how uncooperative she's being. Go in. Ah, I shouldn't have gone in, because now she does dance. I just have to take it, and I might get rotted. Never mind. I'm glad I had a little bit of uh, FP left. I got one more barricade shield. No, oh, I hate that kick sometimes. <laughs> I swear, she just has like the perfect get off me button, huh? Makes it so hard to push advantage sometimes. That's heal, that's our last heal. We can go for another and whiff. Get off me? Nope. All right. Right there is probably a place where I could use R2. I'm just uh, close to the end and a little nervous of that sort of thing. Oh my god. We'll need another shrimp. We'll try our best, but. This is looking like she's doing everything to just keep barely enough health that I'm not getting any advantage off on her. Oh, and I keep whiffing like that, too. That doesn't help. What the heck? That looked like her backslash, I thought. Dang. All right, well, at the very least, I don't think we're going to have to fight a second boss. <laughs> Uh, for reference, the reason why I bring that up especially though is because I haven't actually set up the save file yet. Ooh, I'm stretching. Taking a good stretch. I haven't set up the save file yet to fight another boss. And I don't think, uh... What's his name? Fire Giant is a very good one. Let's try it again. We were very close. She stopped cooperating in phase two. I probably should have used some R1s or something. Whoops. Well, that's a great start. Stop. <laughs> you know, I don't know what makes her decide to fall back on that. Okay. R2, R2, R1. Might be super safe. We'll see. Oh, well, that's the other thing. With how I'm playing this weapon, I could really use the, uh... Is it Spear Talisman? I have no idea what it's called. The one that increases counter-hit damage with thrusting attacks. By the way, do jump back attacks count as... I guess it depends on how they attack, but... I'm assuming some of them count as thrust attacks, right? And she is being polite about that today. Or this time through. Alright. Yeah, I won't worry about it right now. We'll do... That would have been a good spot to do a, a charged R2, because that's just a very common place for her to to do the triple slash. I'm trying to recognize it in my brain, that's why I'm bringing it up more and more. <laughs> trying to recognize the patterns while also 
missing them in time for my hands to, to do what it needs, you know? So like right here. Yeah. So that's something I need to keep an eye on. Because otherwise, what she can do is she can get you in this really big loop of just doing triple slash into fade slash. Triple slash into fade slash. And it's just a waste of time more than anything. I wasn't going to get far enough away from that one. She lunged too much. Like she car canceled it or something, you know? <laughs> For those fighting game players out there. Okay. Don't do that. <laughs> Fall back? I mean, sort of. We'll drink twice. Oh, I was out of range. Oh, everything was mistimed. Chill, lady. Everything's mistimed. Alright. Let's play more properly. Okay, it was the next one that she does. It's probably enough damage to her, or that she's recovered, that she'll probably have time to do another uh, waterfowl dance, too, honestly. If I had to bet. Oh, I was just thinking I might get a stance break soon. Never mind. Alright, we push through with, like, depending on, I think it's one extra flask. That's alright. We just really need to beat this out of it being a war of attrition. I knew it. I should have known better. <sighs> That's why I don't like R1s. They don't stagger her at all. I might be better off just canceling the animation. Yeah, I might just be better off poking with purely R2, like the first R2. See, like that. Because I can interrupt the first R1, R2, when she kicks. It's safe. It's like the same idea as being safe on block. Oh my goodness, and the stance pressure. Safe on block in a fighting game, right? <laughs> you only use... You're not minus in this case, so she can't actually do anything off of it if she reacts. I should have eaten another shrimp. I know it's crap, but anyway. I went in too early. That's okay. That's her first dance. And I didn't get rotted for it either. That's huge. So another thing important to note is that it's important to not necessarily try to hit her too much when she's in the uh, animation of her big kick. Whoa, and I lost again. That sucks. <laughs> Do I keep seeing that as a fading slash. Uh, so let me think what I was saying, because it's something kind of important for the fight. So when she's doing the the kick, she has super armor during it, and her super armor is very special. In the fact that really a lot of her attacks have it, I guess, is mainly why it's special. But uh, if you stance break her during what would have been, or if you would have stance break broken her during her kick... Uh, it will immediately, first of all, it'll stop her from stance breaking. Very important that that doesn't happen. Secondly, uh, her poise immediately starts recovering. Her stance 
uh, bar. That's okay. So it means you're really just losing on all fronts if you're too aggressive during her kick. Because one thing that can happen is all of a sudden you trade a blow with the kick, you get like 200 damage off total because she recovers most of it. I mean, I did alright dodging that. And then all of a sudden, instead of it just being that you got a posture break through it, She's recovering all of her poise as you're recovering from your hit. So it's like the worst of all worlds. Honestly, it could be tempting to run new physics for this uh, weapon. And I'm sorry, but if <laughs> it's going to be really lame on my part, probably. But this is how most fist weapons are probably going to play. Which stinks, because it means you guys don't get to see the two-handed moveset. But two-handed moveset just isn't as good against her. By a long shot, I think. Maybe if this was a base NG. Like, base difficulty. Or you can kind of trade blows a lot easier with her. Then it might have worked. Let's recover a little bit of stamina. All right. What you doing? There we go. <laughs> You're honestly, when she was standing like that, you would honestly be pretty safe to hit buttons there. It's just a matter of preference. I knew better. That wasn't the right fading slash, but whatever. That's the fading slash you're looking for. It's so cool that you can actually punish her for that, too. There we go. That grab. How dare you. And she wants to land that grab on me today. And she has twice. We'll just outrun this one. One, two, three, four, five. Ba -da -da. Oh, I dodged it improperly, partially. That's okay. That's another place you could do a charge dart too. is after her second upward slash there, as long as you're out of range. Two. Whoops, I missed. <laughs> Why do I walk forward? I walk forward on the second, and I need to walk forward on the third. Uh, I think she was going for another grab. I whiffed because I didn't charge it completely. Ugh. <laughs> All right, I need to slow down. Well, that's a rare attack to see. Better to block it. Oh my goodness gracious. We are back to square one, fellas. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> and almost rotted for that. I like rolling through this in phase two because it makes the positioning a little easier for when she does that part. 
Now we have to hope that she doesn't do another dance until I basically run out of Scarlet Rob buildup. Alright, I need to delay that a little further. Timing on this is so much more difficult than almost any other weapon just because I <laughs> I can only use one attack and it's the start of a chain and it's oh it's so awkward. <laughs> I'm learning slowly. Alright, like that could have been a posture break and then I just tossed it away. Alright, one heal. You see, that's the worst that typically happens if you time it right, at least. Alright, she actually did it. Had a good timing, except she got stuck on the wall, and I'm dead off that. Oh my goodness gracious. I'll tell ya, I am not getting very lucky with this fight right now. heal. I mean, I just have to push any sort of advantage I can right now. I'm just dead because she's stalling, dude. Ugh. <laughs> oh, holy cow, by the way, her Scarlet Rod hurts. Yeah, holy cow. Dude, this phase two is tough when you have a, an improper weapon. Actually, let me check something. I said I wasn't going to use a two-handed moveset because I don't like it. However, do you get... I don't know. Is that worth it, you think? Let's change a couple things about my setup, shall we? Uh, mix Wondrous Physic. I don't really care about that. Uh... So, like, I could just run Thorny Cracked and Spiked Cracked. I'm actually hitting her a ton, right? I don't really like, uh... That one. Yeah, why don't we run these two? Because I don't really need the defense, right? What is this one, by the way? Do we really boost poise? No. And then, honestly... I'm tempted to put, sorry, I'm thinking, do I want to put, like, Spirit Talisman? Do I really need this? Honestly, I think that's the first one that should go. Uh, Great Shield Talisman kind of carries me a, a long way for uh, using the shield. <laughs> when I could run the Rotten, or the Winged Sword Insignia instead. Let's try this out. What the heck? She fell back weird. No! Oh. Alright. <laughs> I don't think that actually kills from full health, but it kills from really high health. And she recovers a lot of health, so when you're at the start of the fight anyway, I think it, it's better to just reset. I think it's mostly just better to reset if you get hit by that. Almost any time, honestly. Hmm... I couldn't tell. Did both my R2s hit there? I guess they did. Okay. That's a big difference for how this R2 works. Holy cow. Let's back out one more time. Silly, I know. <laughs> the two-handed charged R2 is not safe to charge there. Although, this lets us check real quick, by the way. How much damage are we talking with this? 761. There's no way that's worthwhile, right? You know, I didn't think to check when I actually started this. I've only done, like, four attempts, right? But the phase twos have been really long.
Dude, this feels so scuffed now. I don't know. I might have to. I've died a few times. I might have to take a short break. Save the recording, come back. Just because... I tend to play worse over long streaks of time. Especially. Charge? Oh, she didn't do it. Not enough range! <laughs> yep, okay, so... I knew she could do that. Again, so when you do- when she does the kick... She can follow it up with the flip. If you're not actively ready to punish it, you just need to roll out of the way of it. And roll again. It can be very dangerous. And this is more how I thought the fist weapon would go, but... Like, just me losing constantly? I really didn't think I'd get to phase 2 on my first attempt, and then phase 2 would just... It's not really stonewalling me, because it's... I've only had two attempts in it, but... It's feeling rough to fight phase 2, where it just feels like a, a war of attrition, no matter how I try fighting it. I need to remember to do... Charged R2, normal R2, then R1. Like that, see? <laughs> It'll keep my stance pressure higher, too. Oh, getting clipped by things like that always stinks. Nope. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at how much health she heals, by the way. Looks really cool. But I think I've been hit by that more in this than I have any other time with this weapon than any other weapon and I don't know why I'm just dodging it poorly today I guess <laughs> maybe partially has to do with range if anything because I do know that this weapon has uh, it's longer range than most fist weapons it probably is the longest fist weapon but why do I hit R1 <laughs> but uh Typically, I'm liking running a lot longer weapons. Sheesh, dude, I am scrambling constantly here. Let's fall back. You know, it might just be safe to go for a third or two. I don't think she actually has time to react on anything that could hurt me. I might be wrong. But like, say I do this, right? I can still get out of there. Mmm, okay. If anything, it's that. Charge. A little too late on it. I had the right idea, I should have released earlier. Dude, we are doing so bad right now. Like, we're doing fine in terms of... We'll probably beat phase one. We're trading insane hits, though. <laughs> that are definitely not in our favor. Let's heal. Yeesh. Not feeling good about this one, though. Actually, the last time we made it to phase two would have been fine if I had positioned better. Uh, I should have been more situationally aware of where I was. Because basically where I was was a place that sets her up to hit me more for a waterfowl. She's 
Sheesh, we're down to three flasks for phase two. Maybe fewer than that, who knows? Oh my god, there's a bug. Ugh. Come on. Yes, I know. Maybe I should delay that, but I think if I delay it, it opens me up to getting hit by too many different options. Oh, that clipped me still. I tried. Oh, I tried. I know, lady. Come on. <laughs> She's just trying to catch me now. Oh, I'm dead. Sheesh. Uh, I think I'm going to take a small break from this, actually, and come back. I have, uh... I'm just performing worse at this point. So we'll do a, a small cut. You guys probably won't notice anything. Uh, I will notice a refreshing break, though. Anyway, thank you. I'll be right back. Alright, and I'm back. Hello. Uh, welcome back. I know you guys don't. It'll be like a split-second cut for you guys. So that's going to feel really weird to me, because it's just something I'm not used to. But uh, this video might end up being my longest video yet. And who knows, it might have to be multiple parts or something. Because I am... Uh... This fight's tough with this weapon. We'll see, maybe if I... Oh, really? Alrighty. And why did you recover there? Oh, we'll heal. She's being hyper-aggressive right now. I gotta remember how to fight uh, with this weapon. That hit me. Oh, jeez. Right to charged R2s. Except that one whiffed. I'm surprised. Okay, maybe this weapon... I would not say the weapon is bad, but maybe I am particularly bad with this weapon. Which is a very real possibility. I do have to say, I think this might be one of the coolest looking weapons for this armor. It matches so nicely. Looks like I kind of have, like, guns for hands. The thing is, I don't even think the charged R2s are going to be that good for two-handed. Okay. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> Didn't like that. I don't know why she started with that, by the way. Okay, then we're doing R1, right? Yeah. Charged R2, R2, R1. That's what it was I wanted. Come on. Come on. I roll backwards, whoops. I mean, the stance damage on a three-hit com three combo is probably really good. So there is at least that. What the? She went right back into it. <laughs> And sometimes it feels like she heals a ton off of that, and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> okay, she can kick out of that. I didn't know. That's good to know. Stance break? Not like that, it's not. Oh, I'm dead. I think I don't like this weapon very much. <laughs> So I actually had, as well, I had a dagger video that I had planned. I never finished it yet, either. And it's from a very similar vein as this, where it's like, weapons that don't stagger easily on her 
in one hit feel really, really bad against her to me. Like, five tiers below any weapon that just staggers her in one hit. It's crazy how different it feels. And maybe it's just my playstyle, where I just don't... Wait, no, that doesn't work there, right? I'm gonna heal. She seems pretty passive there. And then she can, yeah, three hit combo off of that. Whoa. I mean, that's good damage when you do that, right? Like, the actual damage output is fine. It just doesn't feel very good to me. <laughs> Using it. Whoa. I hate it when she does that quick follow-up, by the way. It just feels bad. <laughs> Walk forward, walk back, heal, all right. No, don't do that. The actual poke is pretty good, honestly. It is rather fast, I just wish it had any sort of combo potential. You're limited in range, you're limited in combo, it's like... That's why you don't hit R1 there, by the way. You can just check her there, that's why I do that. Oh, I should have died for that. Alright, now we heal. Yep, one, two. She loves this grab against me, I swear. Dang, no, no posture break there. See, like, when she does a dash to the side like that, that's one of the places where... If she is super, it's super armor, so if you get a posture break on her during that, it just doesn't count necessarily. And it'll cause her to regen instead. I mean, the, like, a three-hit combo does as much as, like, a lot of things that I do against her, honestly. Even the two-hit combo does, really. Ah, what a whiff. Good. Then I think we can just spam R1 against her to get her into phase two. Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> All right, if she actually works with me in this phase two, there's a chance we could beat her here. I mean, obviously, that's always the case, but like, I don't know, she hasn't been cooperating at all with me during phase two, it feels. Oh. Dude, <laughs> his weapon's gonna be the death of me, I swear. <laughs> Charged R2s do get bonus damage here. I could have hit R2 there, honestly. Nice. I mean, like, that's really, really good damage, right?
triple slash. That's good. <laughs> One of these will land, I swear. <laughs> there we go. And then she'll probably do no flower? Huh. Yeah. Like, this is a really good position to be in, right? And then if she choose to, chooses to uh, waterfowl dance, I lose all of my advantage. Which is typically what she has been doing at this point. Oh, that hit me. <laughs> no jump, nice. Oh, sad. Oh, that hit me! Why, dude? <laughs> I just don't feel safe now. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Why are you like this, Melania? Why are you like this? Honestly, let's just barricade shield, walk to this direction, roll, heal twice, heal twice. Yeah, okay. Okay, now I'm actually feeling like we will probably win this. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. It only took like 10 tries or something and was really painful on my part. But hey, overall, we did it. I think this weapon sucks. I'm going to fighting Melania specifically. If I had to bet, it's probably a fine weapon overall, honestly. It feels like it uh, it has like good damage, right? And like things that don't care about... Or things that you don't worry about staggering on every hit. Probably makes this moveset a lot better. It does get thrust attacks, that's always a bonus. Like all these sorts of things point towards it being a decent weapon. It's light. The weapon art probably stinks, but that's not the weapon's fault. That's just... I guess it is the weapon's fault, because you can't swap it. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. If you did, uh, leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment if you'd like to see a, a different weapon next. And then, uh, oh, by the way, crossbows and stuff, I'm not sure about these because of how Millennia's AI works. I'm going to have to figure something out for those. But uh, subscribe if you liked it, too. Uh, thank you for watching. This has been the worst weapon so far, so that's exciting. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.